making their way around the running rail. Shouldn't be too long before they're underway. Starter raises his flag. And away they go. Queen's Law and Midnight Bliss, the first two to show. From True Gazer, Hurricane's Girl, Mammy's Treasure, and Scott a little bit hesitant in the first. With Angola and Sleepy Sunday, quickly on to the second. All over safely, Sleepy Sunday very slow at it. And it's dropped back to last place. And they make their way up the hill towards fence number three. <laughs> So as they appear through the trees, a little to choose between Queen's Law on the inside of Midnight Bliss, and then True Kayser, who races on the outside of Mammy's Treasure. Those are the first four. They're followed then by Hurricane's Girl on the outside of that one, Anguilla. Further out is Anne Scott. Sleepy Sunday in the black and white colours just brings up the rear as they straighten up to fence number three. Queen's Law and Rob Jarrett on the inside of Evan David on Midnight Bliss. Then comes True Gazer racing on the outside of Mammy's Treasure. And Scott makes a bit of progress on the outside in the maroon and orange jacket. Still at the back of the field this sleepy Sunday. So a fairly sedate gallop as they race up past the judge, a couple of circuits ahead of them. Midnight Best pulling quite hard on the outside of Queen's Law, then through Gazer's third with the orange and white. On the inside of that one, there's Mammy's Treasure, then Anne Scott, Anne Quilla, Corrigan's Girl, and finally Sleepy Sunday as they take this next fence. All over safely and quickly on to the next plane fence. And once again they all clear that one safely. So they swing left handed and race on down the hill towards their first open ditch. And as they do so, Midnight Bliss racing on the outside of Queen's Law. Then Mammy's Treasure, True Gazer, Hurricane's Girl. And Quiller not so in that pack together with Anne Scott. And just at the back of the field, still is Sleepy Sunday. And so they're down at the bottom of the hill now, and they're straightening up to face fence number seven, their first open ditch. And still little to choose up front between Queen's Law on the inside of Midnight Bliss and True Gazers, Mammy's Treasure, and Gwilla's jumped into fifth place, and Anne Scott Hurricane's Girl. And they're about six or seven lanes clear now of Sleepy Sunday. As they race on towards fence number eight. Midnight Bliss from Queen's Law. Two Gazer, Mammy's Girl. Mammy's Treasure, rather. Quickly on to the next. And a slight mistake there by Anguilla. Just lost a place or two. Nothing too serious, though. So once again, they race uphill and on towards fence number 10. So up front, Midnight Bliss shows just ahead of Queen's Law. Then True Gazer races in third place, Mammy's Treasure hugging the inside with John Mathias back in fourth place. On the outside of that one is Hurricane's Girl, closely followed by Anne Scott and Wonder and Sleepy Sunday's a little bit closer to them now as they come on towards fence number 10. So up front, just a little to choose between Midnight Bliss, a mistake there by Mammy's Treasure. But Queen's Law and Midnight Bliss still disputing the lead. Hurricane's Girls up into third place with True Gazer. But they're all beginning to bunch up a bit now as they come up past us and race out on their final circuit. So about six lengths would cover the whole field. Midnight Bliss in the dark blue and white on the inside green and orange is Queen Law. Both up in third place then, white and orange of True Gazer. And Anne Scott, Mammy's Treasure, Hurricane's Girl. 
Anguilla and Sleepy Sunday. Sleepy Sunday made a bit of a mess of that one. As they come on quickly to the next. They're all over that one safely. As they race downhill now. And on towards their final five fences. The next one being their second and final open ditch. And up front, Queen's Law, Midnight Bliss. Breathing down their necks, and Mammy's Treasure. And Scott, Hurricane's Girl. Yeah. Sleepy Sunday, and Anguilla. All could still win from here. Very little to choose. You certainly couldn't pick the winner at the moment. Well, I couldn't anyway. About five lengths covers them as they come to five out. Final open ditch then. Queen's Law, Midnight Bliss. True Gazer was very slow. Had we nearly lost Mammy's treasure there, down on her nose. Hurricane's Girl's gone up to dispute third place. And we've got Anguilla, Sleepy Sunday and Anne Scott. This is four out. And Midnight Bliss paces quickly, quite considerably a bad mistake by Midnight Bliss there. Evan David did brilliantly to sit on that one, but has lost all chance as they come to the next one. So Queen's Law has been placed in a lot of maiden races. And uh, her jumping has seen her up there throughout and is still fighting away, but has been joined by Hurricane's Girl now. Hurricane's Girl and Leo Marm come through on the inside, in fact, giving away quite quickly now is Queen's Law. As uh, so they race uphill towards the final two fences, and on the inside we've got Hurricane's Girl. On the outside is True Gazer, and Will is close up in third place. Back in fourth is Mammy's Treasure, as they come towards his second last fence. Hurricane's Girl and Leo Mann from True Gazer. Anguilla on the outside, back in fourth place, Mammy's Treasure. Queen's Law has pulled up before two out as they come to jump this final fence, and it is True Gazer uh, from Anguilla on the outside as they race up to the judge. And True Gazer in the colours of Patrick Tomborough who ran so well in that open race. True Gazer is as making a debut in point of points in this country, and it is True Gazer from Anguilla. And Scott's back in third place in Sleepy Sunday, Mammy's Treasure, Hurricane's Girl. And those are the only finishers.